everybody. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Mel. I'm half of Hustlin' Hooks. If you don't, go over, follow us on Instagram. It's where we share our daily bolos, uh, how to track, daily tips, and just a general insider look into the life of a part-time reseller duo. Today I'm going to do some more information on shoes. I did a mini thrift haul today and I thought it would be a good opportunity to go over some of the things that we look for when we're picking up shoes and our thought process behind whether we should pick them up, what we're looking at, the sell-through rates, things like that. So let's dive in. Also with me today is my beautiful assistant, Toddy. She'll be sitting here farting along. You won't be able to smell it, but I will. <laughs> so let's get started. So a little background is I went to this Goodwill after work on the way home. It's across from a lot of hospitals. We call it the Medical Mile. And apparently a nurse must have retired or gotten all new shoes or quit or something because I found four pair of these Danskos uh, D-A-N-S-K-O. So that is a Bolo brand. And the first pair that I saw, I was just standing there. I could hear them about to bring out a new car. So I was like, I'll check the shoes, even though I was just there for hard goods. This was never meant to happen. But I saw these babies on the rack. And I didn't see the brand at first, but I did see this leather tooling. If you're out looking for shoes, this is pretty detailed, this leather, always a good idea to pick them up if they look like this and check them out. And then I saw that they were Danskos and I, I grabbed a cart because at that point I was like, well, now I'm going to go through all the shoes because apparently they must've put some good shoes out. Now these are in amazing condition. The soles really don't have a lot of wear on them. There's no scuffs on the upper part. There are these two little spots on the heel here, but I don't really think that that's going to affect the price because it doesn't really affect the function of the shoe. So this pair of dance goes, uh, I searched black leather tooled dance goes. Those are the search terms because it was very specific to this design and 251 sold out of 269 available. So that's an awesome sell through rate. They wanted $6 for them. And this type sells for about 75 to $80. That's almost what I paid for everything. Then I saw more clogs on the racks and these were, these were spaced out. These weren't even next to each other. So it was a little game of hide and seek. I, I kept going down the shoes thinking, am I going to find some more dance goes? I don't know. Cause I glimpsed more clogs and I thought, it can't be. I can't find another pair of this bolo when I've never found any. But sure enough, these beautiful red leather ones in really good condition uh, on both of them, because then I went on another aisle and there was another one. These are the same size and same color, so they must be the same person, I think. There is some wear to the toes, but because they're leather, we can just use polish and shine those up. So it's still worth it to pick up shoes if they are fixable and the return rate is high enough. So these are worth it because again, the sell through rate's really good and they sell for about $50, 50 to 60 for this style, this color, and again, six bucks. I also found this type of dance go. They don't sell for as much, but still good selfie rate and still good return. These ones, they wanted five, so saved a dollar. So after I found those, I just kept walking through the shoes. So I'm just gonna do a quick over of what I looked for and why I picked these ones up and also why I, we might be returning some. So these I saw, uh, I thought they were more dance goes at first, but they're not, but they said made in Sweden, very unique and the condition is like new. I mean, no, basically no flaws at all on here. So I took a gamble, I put them in my car and I said, I'll look them up. And sure enough, 
this exact type uh, sold for $37.50 plus shipping. So sell-through rate was about 70% as well. So we're gonna keep those. These are Keens. We always pick up Keens when we see them. It's just a good brand, has a really good following, uh, good selfie rate, quality shoe. These are their Canvas Mary Jane style. I would say their hiking shoes do better, but these still do well. And especially again, this is these are almost brand new condition. There's basically no wear at all. Uh, you should get about 35 for these. Um, again, good sell-through rate, always looking at the sell-through rate. Uh, these are Nike Air Max in generally good condition. Whiter shoes can be trickier because they're going to show dirt and wear a little bit more. But ultimately, this person kept them in good condition. We are going to brighten them up uh, using uh, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. And there's a couple spots on the fabric we'll go over and try to get out. But these should sell for... Check my handy dandy notes. These should sell for about 40 to 45. And they were asking five. All right, so next I have a pair of Brooks. Brooks is a good brand. You have to really check the condition because people do love them. They're great running shoes, but it means sometimes there's a lot of wear to them. These ones you can see, looking at them, really good on the outside. So I flipped them over. And there is dirt, but not a lot. Not enough that they're not gonna clean up and the treads aren't really worn down. So that's what we, you look for with athletic running shoes. Um, and also there's no holes in the fabric of the heel there. I always check that as well. Okay, so these Brooks, uh, they're GTS 18. Always look up the model numbers on athletic shoes because Generally speaking, they come out with newer models like every year. They're like phones, basically. And the newer the model, the more, the more you'll get and the more people are probably looking for them. So these were newer. And uh, these exact shoes in this colorway were as high as 90. We're probably actually going to list them closer to 65, 70 because we just have a lot of shoes that we really want to get moving right now. We don't want to just sit on them forever. So these I picked up because they're Nike, which obviously has a good following and they had a cool colorway and they were pretty sweet. Uh, they were in the women's section. Now, one thing about these, they're awesome condition, really good, but the size is five and a half youth or five and a half men's. That's okay. Don't let that deter you from picking shoes up because you add a size and a half, so there are seven in women's. And a guy might have small feet and he might be looking for shoes. So we might list them a little lower because the size is small, but it doesn't mean you shouldn't pick them up. Found these pair of Saucony's, Saucony's? Saucony's. We're gonna go with Saucony. <laughs> Uh, just a very basic, clean, really just needs some rocks popped out of the bottoms there. No rips, no tears. You can do sniff tests sometimes with shoes. I think these kind of have a new smell to them. So they haven't really been worn. And they only these ones only sell for like 30, 35, but they're just a good quality basic shoe. And because of the condition, they're worth it to put in our closet or our eBay store. I have one more um, that I really love. I'm gonna actually, I'm probably gonna list these high because I kind of want to keep them. <laughs> uh, I picked them up because they're just, so, they're just, they're awesome. These are velvet platform basket shoes and they're by Cat, like Caterpillar, the construction shoe. I've never seen anything like this from Cat and I love velvet, so I'm probably gonna list these like at 50, 60. Uh, and the unique thing about these is there's no exact comps for them. But when you see a unique shoe and it's interesting, our average shoe cost is about $6 a pair. So we're not really risking a lot of money. 
if we were paying more like 10 to 15 to for a pair it would be different i probably wouldn't have picked them up unless they were for me but six dollars that's that's an easy risk and then I want to go over a couple things that got them home and looked at them a little better and then decided they weren't worth it because that's part of the game too so these brooks they looked really really good on the surface and i did a quick glance but when i got home i just decided this was too much wear to them these aren't going to be worth selling uh, great colorway though if these were in good condition uh different story but as it is we would probably just sit on them for too long and these are torrid torrid is just a solid brand to sell probably wouldn't have been super expensive but it doesn't usually sit for us which is a factor to consider as well but i just saw the brand and threw them in again the fronts were in good condition but i miss these scuffs on the back and they're not it's not real leather so it's just like the peeling kind of scuffing not the i can fix it type of scuffing so those are going back and then these are also going back these are these are pretty sweet shoes very interesting and the good thing about them is we learned something new when it comes to these shoes but there's just not a lot of comps to support them uh they're by merrill and they have vibram soles or vibram however you say it which is generally a good pickup. We do well with Merrill, but these are rock climbing, bouldering shoes, and there's just not enough comps at the right price point to support putting the work into listing them. So there's those are going back as well. Those are some things that we look for when we're picking up shoes. Again, it's gonna be different for everybody. You need to determine how much work you wanna put into shoes, if you wanna scrub them, if you wanna pick rocks out, uh, if you wanna deal with polishing some leather. If it's worth it, we do, but you don't have to. On average, we're looking for about 30, 35 and up when we sell shoes. There's some rare exceptions to that. If they're a quick flip, then we can sell them for cheaper because then we're not paying for the storage space. So quick trip, and I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you found some bolos in there, got some tips on what to look for next time you're at your Goodwill or your local thrift. If it was helpful, please give us a thumbs up, help support our channel. And again, go follow us on Instagram because we share live tips and tricks and we answer any questions as well. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time.